Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to hook up your Mac Mini and use it as part of your entertainment center. Helping me out with that is going to be uh, OWC's very own Chris Hafner. Hi, Chris. Hi. Hey, so what are we going to be hooking up today? Oh, we're going to hook up the Mac Mini, OWC QX2, and an Apple Airport Extreme, make them all work together uh, so you can have shared network storage uh, of all your video content. Uh, for your entire household, for every TV in your house. Uh, a lot of great stuff. Let's get to it. All right. Okay, the first step in getting your Mac Mini Media Center up and running is connecting the Mac Mini to your TV. There's many different ways you can do this. The first one we're going to cover is using the Mini Display Port on the Mac Mini and the HDMI port on the TV. Now for audio, we're going to use an optical cable or a Toslink cable. Um, to go to our surround sound receiver so we can utilize surround sound. Uh, for the audio cable, you might need to get, depending on your cable, you might need to get a mini jack adapter to be able to go into the Mac Mini's output. Because um, the Mac Mini's audio port can do both analog and digital output or optical output. Uh, so you plug that in, we'll take that to the receiver in a second. Uh, we're going to use our uh, mini display port adapter to HDMI. Um, which uh, we're using the newer tech branded one. Connect that in, like so. And then we connect that to our TV. So I'm gonna take the other end of the optical or Toslink cable and plug it into my receiver on an unused port. I chose the MD tape so I know to set my receiver to go to that setting. Okay, if you don't have a surround sound receiver, you're going to want to hook your audio directly into your TV. Now, this particular TV has a, a red and white RCA connection uh, to go along with the HDMI input that we already hooked up. So I'm going to take a mini jack to RCA connection, or uh, right and left audio. I'm going to hook that, take out the optical connection on the Mac Mini and hook this one in there instead, um, and hook it up to the corresponding ports on the TV. Now this won't get us surround sound, but this will get us the, the stereo audio. Now if you want to be able to record television on your Mac Mini, you're going to need a TV tuner. I have the Elgato ITV250 Plus here uh, that does both analog and digital broadcasts. So I already have the, the cable connected uh, from, from my wall, or you can use an over-the-air antenna as well. Uh, this unit does take power, so you're going to need to, to hook the power in. And then USB is how it connects to the Mac Mini. Now I also have the Elgato Turbo 264 HD device, which helps me speed up exports uh, of my television shows so it doesn't take as long uh, to take them to iPhone or iPod or Apple TV. Video takes up a lot of storage space, so we need to have a safe place to store our video content. I chose the OWC QX2 because it does a protected RAID 5 array, so it tolerates one drive going down uh, or going bad and still my data would be safe on there. Now this unit has multiple output options. It has USB, FireWire 800, FireWire 400, and eSATA. I'm going to use FireWire 800 because that's the fastest connection my Mac Mini can handle. Now, if you want to put your storage on the network, one of the easiest ways to do this is to utilize an Apple Airport Extreme. Uh, it has a USB connection, which uh, you can hook up to a hard drive and have shared network storage throughout your entire network. So basically, we can have all of our movies stored on the QX2, and everyone in the household, uh, whether we have multiple Mac Mini Media Center set up, they can all stream directly from the QX2. Now to do this, I'm going to unplug the fireworks. I don't want to have a direct connect. I want to have it with USB on my network. So I just simply plug it in, turn it on, and away we go. <laughs> 